Hello students, I am Nandita ma'am along with you again with a new topic of your EVS book. Okay. Uh, I will not say now what is that topic. First, uh, let me ask you one question. Okay. Name any natural resources. You understand what are the natural resources? Yes, you know that. So, name any natural resources which we need for our various purposes and the hint part is that without which we cannot survive. You may take the name of various resources, okay, because lot of resources are there in our surroundings. So, you have to say, but my hint for you is that without which we cannot survive. And one thing I am saying you, one is definitely oxygen and another necessity of our life, I am giving you hint, without which we cannot survive. Now guess it, have you guessed? Now see the answer, see the picture, what is written here? Yeah, I know that you have also guessed it properly, yes, rightly you have guessed, that is water. Without water, we are not going to survive. So today our lesson is every drop counts. That is the lesson of your EVS book. Okay. Before advancing for the lesson, before go further for the lesson, uh, let us talk about why this word is being given. Do you really count the drops of water? Do you think we can count the drops of water? Is it possible? No, because water is uncountable noun, I think. And so, uh, how, how can we count the droplets of water? or from a glass of water, is it possible for us to count the how much droplets are there inside the glass? No. Here the meaning is something else. The real inside meaning is something different. Here we are going to talk about the water and its importance. We are going to talk about the, the way we are utilizing water, which are the sources of water. Then uh, what way we are uh, polluting the water and we must, uh, the main motive behind it to develop the sensitivity about the most precious resource without which we cannot survive. So that is why this lesson. So let us start this lesson with a story. See the beautiful picture. Here it is shown the picture of Ghatsisar of Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. See, it is beautiful one, beautiful architectural words, is calm, soothing and a very nice picture it is, isn't it? But let us talk about something. So, story of Ghatsisar. This is a picture of Ghatsisar. Sar means lake. The king Ghatsi of Jaisalmer got it made 650 years ago with the help of the people. All round the lake there are ghats with steps leading to the water, decorated verandas, large halls, rooms and much more. So many things are there which are uh, on this lake and it is looking beautiful as you have seen. I will show you more picture. People came here to celebrate festivals and for programs of music and dance. As we know that Rajasthan is having very rich cultural heritage, isn't it? Because their music, their dance, their puppet show, the colorful dresses, everything is uh, attracting even the tourists also. And this way they celebrate music and dance. And enjoy there. Okay. So, children came to study in the school on the ghat also. The talab belonged to everyone and everyone took care to keep it clean. This is the facts about this ghat sisar. See this picture. How nice it is. So calm and soothing effect it is giving you. As like of your architectural specimens are also very nice along with this. The water bodies are just putting a marvelous impact. Let us go further. Rainwater collected in this lake spread over many miles. 
it was made in such a way that when the lake was full the extra water flowed into another lake at a lower level when that too filled up the extra water flowed into the next lake so this way all nine lakes filled up so can't you believe that that was been built in those days isn't it so amazing this rain water could be used throughout the year today ghatsi sar is no more in use this is the problem with us we are in one hand we are advancing and another way we are forgetting and we are approaching fast towards the disaster because we are forgetting the basic norms of our life isn't it we will see that how today ghatsi sar is no more in use many new buildings and colonies have come up in between those nine lakes and now the water does not get collected in these lakes rain water just flows away and is wasted i told you na we are advancing in one way in another way we are forgetting the basic norms of life we are approaching faster towards the disaster may human human civilization will finish if we will approach this way and forget all those things what it has said about that is why this lesson is that is why we are discussing this lesson that this way if we will approach and forget all those things then very soon we are going to finish and earth will become a barren land without water this is also a beautiful picture you can see that sunset how nice it is looking it is also giving us a very pleasure feeling isn't it that is why many tourist people are also going by that time and now also people are going identify this man the name is written in picture you see that alberoni okay he visited india through the eyes of alberoni let us talk about what he has observed and uh, what was his feeling when he had seen those nine lakes and their various uses as well as the beauty reflecting throughout the nature then what he has said let us see that more than a thousand years ago a traveler came to india his name was alberuni the place that he came from is now called uzbekistan alberuni carefully observed and noted down the details of all that he saw he wrote specially about those things that he found very different from his own country here is a part of what he wrote about the ponds of that time the people here are very skilled at making ponds my countrymen would be surprised to see them so he was surprised they piled up huge rocks and joined them with iron rods to build chabutaras raised platforms all around the lake they piled up huge rocks and joined them with iron rods to build chabutaras raised platforms all around the lake between these there are rows of long staircases going up and down the steps for going up and coming down are separate so there is less crowding today when we study history we can learn a lot about those days from the writings of alberoni the stamp came out in 1973 1000 years after his birth so here from we understand how alberoni took it how he was surprised amazed and uh, praised a lot about this system of collecting water and utilize it especially a area where there is very scanty rainfall we know that rajasthan is a area where there is very scanty rainfall so see the picture step well you can see the picture of step well how nice it is looking see that how the marvelous architecture it is the different steps are there generally we have seen the well where the people fetching water it is bit tough work isn't it but here it is more easier because you are going near the water to fetch it or to have it so this way they are collecting 
water or they are using water. Now see what is the picture saying? Now we are seeing here the heavy rain and this rain is occurring in many parts of our India, isn't it? Many of the states of India are not really getting that much of rainfall which is required. That required rainfall all the states are not getting. Many of the states are there which are getting sufficient rain, more than sufficient rainfall and some are not getting and Rajasthan is one among them and like that of many of the states are there. This rainwater helps us to develop our underground water level, isn't it? So, where do the water goes? There are many fields, farms, pakka roads, drains, etc. The areas are sometimes sloping, rocky or flat. Think what will happen here when it rains? Actually, these are the concepts we are discussing because these are the things you have to notice and find out the way how much water we are wasting. We can store water. These lines or whatever we are going through now, these are giving indication that we can store water, but we are not. So that is why here it is think what will happen here when it rains. The rain water goes into the drains, pipes or peats. Some waters also getting soaked into the soil. That is good for us. Besides Jaisalmer, many places in Rajasthan get very little rainfall. Already I told you. Here it rains for only a few days in the entire year. Sometimes not even that much also. The rivers here do not have water all round the year. We know that our northern river are perennial rivers. We are getting water throughout the year in those perennial river, northern river I mean to say, because of this Gangotri glacier. The rivers near Rajasthan do not have water throughout the year. And yet most of the villages in these areas did not have a shortage of water. Surprising, isn't it? How? People knew that every drop of water was precious. Lakes and johars were made to collect water. Water was everyone's need. All came together in this work, be it a businessman or a laborer. Some water from the lakes soaked into the ground and reached the wells and bowdies. Step well. The soil of the area also became wet and fertile by this way. Every house had a system to collect the rain water. It is a with the value people are really there that time. That is why there was no shortage of water in spite of the fact that Rajasthan was getting very scanty rainfall because they collect water through the lakes through and step well and many other ways. Let us see that what are those many other ways. So see this picture. I told you that is what way they are uh, collecting water. See rain water that falls on the roof will reach the underground tank. So they are collecting this rain water which will be useful for later on for irrigating purposes, for washing purposes, for many other purposes. And other things for drinking water they may be taking the ground water. But other problem can be solved through this rain water only. We are calling it by modern name that is rain water harvesting. How this rain falling on this roof and reaching the underground tanks and after that it is uh, being used for various purposes. Now some informations for you. See Tamil Nadu was the first state adopted rain water harvesting in 2001. This is an information for you. When we are talking about rainwater harvesting, when we are going through this, why it is so important. So you must know that which states first adopted. Then other than Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra also adopted rainwater harvesting. And our late Prime Minister, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi took first initiative to clean river Ganga 
under the Ganga Action Plan in 1986. These are not the exact part of your lesson, but these are some of the related information you must keep in mind. You must know these things that when rainwater harvesting process is being officially adopted by V state. And after that, why I have put this uh, another information here? I tag this information why that Ganga Clean Avian is being first uh, undertaken by our late Prime Minister, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. And now also Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji is doing a lot and that has changed the face of Ganga so much. Because our next what we are going to further, there I will show you in what way we are polluting Ganga. Sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly. We are polluting. That means we are polluting the water resources. Now first see that through what resources we are getting water here. Here the wells and the water supply vehicle is there. Karnataka is having very much water scarcity and that is why especially the city Bangalore, it is getting this way the water supply. And many other states are there which found their underground water table totally finished. So it is a very alarming factor for us. States which are getting water, they are lucky. If they are getting through rain and all, they are having sufficient water, they are lucky. So it is an urge also, don't waste water. Be sensitive and sensitize other also. In your school also, you can undertake various programs with the help of your teacher. You can make people aware about the necessity of water conservation. Now, another sources also I have given here. We get water from which sources? We are getting water from various sources. Let us talk first about them. Okay. So, rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, icebergs, glaciers, ice caps, whales, even our underground water are the prime source of water for us. Okay. Nobody can deny the importance of rain. Rain is the main source to maintain the level of underground water. And if your underground water is there, then only you will get water through your wells, ponds and through your tube wells and all, even the boring also. If it is not there, then how could you get that? So the main source or prime source is rain. So we should collect the water. We should collect the water. So we should not allow it to go waste. Rather we should find out the way to conserve it. Again I have put that picture of rain because it is very important to knock you. This way the raindrop is getting wasted when it is falling from the roof. It is getting wasted. So here from you find out the way, what way you can conserve those water and utilize for various purposes. Here also through the pictures I have shown you from the different sources how you are collecting water and all. There are sources of water. Here the ponds, lakes, rivers and of course another one. Bottom right you can find there dam. Why we are using dam? Because to collect the water, extra water of the river. During rainy season, the water gets over flooded. So that is why that extra water, we channelize them and store them for various purposes. As multi-purpose dams are very useful, we know that for electricity generating, for irrigation purposes, for our genuine domestic water supply, Many purposes it is getting sought through these dams, isn't it? So this is also one way we are officially we are storing. But after all it is each person, if when each person becomes sensitive about it to store water and not to waste water, then perhaps we will overcome this problem. See the picture, child is playing near the pond. When we are going for picnic, have you noticed ever? We are going to a river side. Why? Because we need water 
for cooking and other than that also we we enjoy that scenic beauty we enjoy that scenic beauty along with the nature but we are not sensitive about water now let us talk about this step well have you ever seen a step well can you imagine by looking at the picture that the steps go down several stories deep instead of drawing water up from the well the people go down the steps and reach the water and that is why they are called step wells you have seen the picture now see it very clearly now see how the steps are there by which you can go just near the water and how the water is looking so nice long ago people used to make long journeys with their caravans of animals and goods people felt it was a good thing to give water to thirsty travelers yeah nowadays also we are doing during summer time we can find sometime voluntary organizations are there they are holding this kind of camp for supplying water to the thirsty people so thus they built many beautiful step wells what kind of water arrangements were made for travelers for example piao mashak that is a leather bag or any other now what do people do about water when they travel now when we are traveling we are holding water bottles right and in every station we are finding tap we are also purchasing bottled water during our course of journey so we need water either we are taking water bottle with us or we are purchasing bottled water so this is how we get water even today people get water from the old lakes dharas step wells and nalas many customs and festivals are related to water at some places whenever lakes get filled up with rain water the people gathered around the lake to celebrate can we even imagine life without water so you have seen how we need water that there are many facts in what way rajasthan conserved water in early days now also it is conserving water and how water is useful for us what are the various sources where from we are getting fresh water how rain is playing a great role or prime role in maintaining our water table so all those things already we have discussed before going to next issue let us have an activity so activity question number 1 dash was constructed by king ghatsi i think you hold that pen and paper in my previous classes also i told you to hold your pen and paper dash was constructed by king ghatsi then question number 2 in dash people go down near the water to get it what is that you have to identify then question number 3 dash is the main source to maintain ground water level let me reveal the answer before you that is answer number 1 is ghatsi sar was constructed by king ghatsi then answer number 2 in step well people go down near the water to get it then answer number 3 rain is the main source to maintain ground water level so students this much for today and other issues of this lesson other various concepts are there which we are going to discuss in the next class okay till then stay safe stay happy and thank you